As African leaders gathered for a climate summit in Nairobi, the president of the upcoming COP28 delivered this grim assessment. The world is losing the race to secure the goals of the Paris Agreement. And the world is struggling to keep 1.5 within reach. It comes as African leaders call for changes to what they say is an unfair international climate finance system. On Tuesday, Kenya's President William Ruto complained that African countries, some with high debt loads, pay five times as much as other borrowers in interest. The architecture is set up in a manner that if you borrow, it will be difficult for you to pay. We need a conversation, and a very candid conversation, and we are saying this in all honesty around how do we get concessional funding. The inaugural Africa Climate Summit is focused on mobilizing financing for Africa's response to climate change. While Africa is suffering from some of the most severe impacts of climate change, researchers say the continent only receives about 12 percent of the financing it needs to cope. Hundreds of millions of dollars of investments in sustainable development projects were announced on Monday. On Tuesday, the UAE pledged $4.5 billion to develop 15 gigawatts of clean power in Africa by 2030. Germany also announced $482 million in financing, including funding for a green hydrogen project in Kenya. The United States committed $30 million to supporting climate resilience and food security efforts. African officials say the investments are welcome, but that a bigger transformation is needed. They plan to push for the expansion of special drawing rights at the International Monetary Fund at the upcoming COP28 climate summit.